Who is Art the Clown? The creepy horror villain explained. Are you one of those people who are terrified by clowns? Do they at least make you a tad bit uncomfortable? Well, you are no exception, because a majority of people don't really cozy up to the idea of a clown. It is no surprise that this has been utilized by horror movies time and time again to develop a sinister character. He could be a supernatural entity, or simply a maniac killer, and the creepiness does enough to turn an average story into an engaging one. The Terrifier film franchise is a worthy take on the killer clown genre, and Art the Clown is a familiar name for horror fans. His origin dates back to times before this movie series took off, and over time, the appearance of him kept changing. Art the Clown was the main villain in the Terrifier slasher franchise, and David Howard Thornton was roped in to play this challenging role in the 2016 release. The movie might have mixed reviews, but Thornton's performance was loved by critics and fans alike. The eerie mannerisms, the subtle psychotic behavior, and gruesome acts made him an iconic figure in the glorious list of iconic horror villains. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Origin and development of this creepy clown character over the years. It's never clearly specified what made Art the Clown the way he is. However, there are a few fan theories that seem pretty apt. If you've watched all the movies, this antagonist was involved in, you probably remember, the group of demons that lived under the subway. Art the Clown had a striking resemblance to these demonic entities and has his share of deformities. He probably masks the deformations with all that makeup and one of his goals seems to be more focused on mentally breaking down the victim than killing him. We also have a curious question regarding Art. Was he also a victim and got to his crazed state after being tortured? It can also be that he had succumbed to demonic torment once and that changed him permanently. His demonic heritage would justify his grotesque features and also his immortality to some extent. Whatever be the case, we can all agree that if a future movie in the series shed some light on his origin, it would be an intriguing watch. Seriously, you think this is funny? You think you just piss all over the place and smear your shit on the walls? Arch the Clown might have gained the stature of a popular figure in horror flicks today, but he's been around for quite some time. In fact, this character was first seen in a short film called The Night Circle way back in 2008. In this film, he was shown stalking a young lady on Halloween night. He pursued her through an empty train station and eventually kidnapped her to sacrifice her for a cult. Yet another short film called Terrifier in 2011 saw the scary clown come back to trouble a woman who happened to witness one of his murders. It was two years later, in 2013, when Art the Clown was first seen in a full-length film named All Hallows' Eve. This horror anthology was directed by Damien Leon, who made use of the footage from the previous two short films, which were also his direction. All Hallows' Eve was direct-to-video, but it gained the attention of horror fans. It developed such a following that the makers brought about a sequel titled All Hallows' Eve 2. The most elaborate work on Art the Clown was probably done in the 2016 slasher flick Terrifier, helmed once again by Damien Leon. This one managed to strike a chord with audiences, which prompted a sequel, Terrifier 2, to be set for release in 2021. What is so intimidating about Art the Clown? Well, the question should be, what isn't scary about this demonic clown? 
Everything from his attire to his appearance and mannerisms is enough to send a shiver down your spine. He is usually shown dressed in a black and white costume. He carries around a dark trash bag that is full of his stock of crude weapons. His face is painted white and the eyes, eyebrows and mouth are painted white. According to the Terrifier law, he originally has a Caucasian skin tone and his eyebrows are shaved. He looks lean and lanky but possesses surprisingly brute strength and a cunning mind. The look has been changed time and again, and if you take a gander at the short films, you will see him in a normal human clown appearance. The director played with his looks to strike fear in the hearts of the audience. Thus, in the second and third movie, he has an even more disturbing look that is complete with his shady, rotting teeth and abnormally sunken cheeks. This vicious get-up was used in Terrifier, turning him into a popular horror villain. He is a sadistic serial killer who enjoys torturing his victims before killing them in an unthinkable fashion. Who can forget the scene where he makes a woman watch her friend get sawed while being hung upside down? He doesn't really choose his victims as this vile creature actually slaughters anyone he fancies. Besides his slow, violent murders, he sometimes lets the victim slip away simply so the person can live in the trauma forever. There's a hint of supernatural abilities in Art the Clown and he often uses it to stalk and prey on his targets. Another haunting feature is the way he is always silent. You will never hear a word out of him and it, it's just the expressions that will make your blood run cold. His silent smile is as menacing as it gets and even when he is hurt he merely mimes screams of pain. His theatrics when a victim is cornered might seem comical momentarily because he is so animated. However, his actions soon put things into perspective and you will shudder at the thought of this morbid killer clown. Because it's Halloween. how Art the Clown evolved into a supernatural entity. We've been using words like a demonic clown and supernatural powers, but that wasn't always the case with Art the Clown. In fact, in the short films, we saw him in a very different avatar that was more human in nature. Yes, he still had the dreaded clown look, but his actions were no different than a maniacal serial killer. He would stalk his victims and somehow drug and kidnap them then began the gruesome torture, sometimes ending in murder. As the character started to gain in popularity, the makers planned to exaggerate a bit and make things scarier for the audience. The looks started becoming more sinister and his supernatural side came to the fore. In All Hallows' Eve, there is a scene that shows him getting stabbed in his eyes. He hardly flinches in pain and carries on with his murderous plans like nothing happened. This is clearly a hint of his superhuman abilities, as is the part where he can interact with the people watching his videotape. Later, the movie Terrifier pushes him into an even more monstrous territory where there is a cannibalistic side to him. We cannot get the scene out of our mind where he proceeds to eat the face of his victim. Lastly, his ability to reanimate himself after his death is a definite indication of immortality. It is almost like an evil spirit that cannot be killed, and its lust for violence will continue. Art the Clown in the movie Terrifier, 2016. As we have already mentioned, this is the version of Art the Clown that has been the most disturbing and detailed. The plot revolves around the menace as he keeps hunting for his victims. Tara and Dawn leave a Halloween party in a drunkard state and find a strangely dressed man in a clown costume. This creepy clown follows them to the local pizzeria and soon after the restaurant owner throws him out of the place for smearing the bathroom walls with his feces. 
When they come out of the restaurant, Tara and Dawn realize that the tires of their car have been slashed, and Tara calls up her sister Vicky to come and help them out. In the meantime, they request a pest control worker to use the washroom in the apartment building where he is working. Unknown to them, Art follows them into the apartment after killing the workers in the restaurant. He suspends Dawn upside down and makes Tara watch as he saws her in half. The murderous madness continues until the police arrive and Art shoots himself in the head. However, there is a shocking twist in the tales as we get to see Art reanimating himself and strangling the medical examiner at the morgue. Terrifier 2 – The Murderous Clown Returns You would get a rough idea about the popularity of Terrifier in 2016 from the simple numbers that the makers raked in when they announced that the sequel would be a fan-funded project. They wanted to have around $500,000, but the fans raised more than four times the money. They started shooting in 2019, and the film was slated for an October 2020 release. Unfortunately, then came the COVID-19 pandemic that stalled everything. As of now, we have news that the producers are trying to get this flick out by the end of 2021. This time, Art the Clown returns to Miles County after being resurrected. He's after a young teenage girl and her brother and is out on a murder spree on Halloween night. The young protagonists have to find a way to stay alive and they uncover the evil intentions of this crazy clown. We do know that the plot continues with the supernatural elements of the character, but whether they make him more brutal is something we will find out in due time. The movie will once again be directed by Damien Leon, and we're pretty excited to have David Howard Thornton reprise his role as Art. As for the other members of the cast, you'll have the likes of Lauren Lavera, Tamara Glynn and Elliot Fulham in crucial roles. If such a crowdfunded effort tastes success, it could pave the way for further expansions of the franchise. We will never get tired of stories that involve Art the Clown. The obvious comparisons with Pennywise from It. You saw this coming, didn't you? It's only normal that a character like Art the Clown would be compared with the other reigning star of clown horror, Pennywise. This was probably the start of igniting the fear associated with clowns, and the comparisons are obvious with the new horror icon. There are, however, some clear differences between the two. We see Art as more of a Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers kind of character and not some ancient cosmic entity. His powers are not as well defined as Pennywise, but his modus operandi is certainly more brutal. Even when it comes to their appearance, Pennywise is more charming and lures his prey easily. Art the Clown, on the other hand, has more of a mime-like appearance and rough personality. Pennywise preys on children, and the comical element is almost missing in Art the Clown, whose victims are adults. We do consider Art to be a scarier version, but interestingly, David Thornton mentioned that he was inspired by Pennywise, and his stunning performance added the extra punch to the character. We say, forget the comparison and enjoy both these horror treats. Please stop. Our final take. Art the Clown has not only been an unstoppable force, but he's also evolved continuously to offer us something new with each appearance. So far, the trend has been to make him deadlier and crazier, and we can't wait to see what future sequels hold in store for this villain. Will they tone down the viciousness, or does it only get worse from here? All we can say is that if the creators can find suitable plots to feature this vicious clown, it can go on to be the generation-defining horror monstrosity of our time. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe, and press that bell icon that will help you get notifications. We upload an awesome video every day. Have an amazing day ahead and stay safe.